see. I think that is working. Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby, in case you had figured that out from the title and for the fact you're on my page watching this, um, actually on my profile watching this vernacular. So before I get started, let me introduce myself, because in case you don't know who I am, what I'm about. Um, I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and I know quite a bit about them, so this is actually for the men as an explainer. I'll get to that in a second. So uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me, and I love you coming in here. Um, I do these talks every day, and that's why I've just got over a year's worth now, because Friday was 365, and this is number 369. And they're called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And this one actually is to inspire the feminine heart, but also to awaken the masculine heart. Because I'm going to say something today. Yesterday started this. Yesterday I was talking about honor and respect for women that men need to bring to the table to actually, well, I don't want to use the word deserve, but certainly to be in a good place to have a relationship. Today's topic is in the same um, theme, as it were. This one I want to talk about is... Um, because women are more complicated than men. This is, this is, this is the way things are. And I'll explain it in a couple of ways so you get the point of this. Um, because this is a good thing. And um, men need to listen up because this has been one of the paradigm shifts that needs to happen, I believe, as a global thing. Because I have a hidden agenda. <laughs> so let's get, let's get into this. In simple terms, and I'll break this down simply because most of us men like things simple. Just to be clear, I'm also one of those in that club, so you know I can say that. Um, and so, when it comes to complexity, we don't have, we don't come close to how women's minds work. There's a great um, minister that speaks called Mike uh, Mark Gungan. He's on YouTube. I've watched YouTube videos; they're quite quite amazing and amusing. And he and Alison Armstrong have some similar languaging about the way men's and women's brains work differently. And the way he says it is that we men, and I'm using, using his model because it explains this more simply, and then I go further because I want to explain what that means for us in relationship and as people. So stick with me. So what Mark talks about, um, I, I think I don't know if he's a Pentecostal, I'm not sure what his background is. Um, I know he doesn't believe in sex before marriage. That's one of his caveats, um, which I don't necessarily agree with, just to be clear. But his philosophy about the way he, does, he has a talk, it's, it's actually the beginning of a weekend talk from a few years ago, and he has on the stage where he's speaking in front of the audience these two, like, three-foot-high pillars with, um, what do you call those things? Is it phrenology? I think it's, it's like the, 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 the white porcelain heads, and there's one male, one female. One's made up like a woman, one's made up like a man, and actually you have, this, the, you have the, the brain inside them. It's, it's, a very, it's, not, it's not gross, it's actually just it's porcelain. It's very clean, it's, very, it's all white. And so he goes into, to each side and explains the men, male brain and the, the female brain to make the points <clears throat> and one of these talks about is about the fact that men's brains are made up of little boxes and what he means and i love the way he puts this is that w us men have a way of um compartmentalizing in the fact is that we are good and the way i'm actually going to blend his talking with alison armstrong's talk expression alison armstrong speaks about how we as men have a single focus we're really good at straight line go for the gold which means that for us, distraction is really challenging. So our brains are set up like little boxes, like a big, big room full of boxes. And each box has a separate thing in it. And no box touches any other box. They're all separate. Because that's the way, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, because we do have different brains. And I'm explaining this because you have that information for your, for your relationship experience and everything else. So you're welcome. Um, so us men have brains that are in little boxes that don't touch because that allows us to be really focused and really clear without being distracted because distracting is really challenging for us men. We get distracted easily. Trust me. On the other hand, women's brains don't have boxes in them. In fact, what, what Alison talks about is that women's brains, she calls it diffuse awareness. Or another way of putting it is having um, a wider peripheral view of everything. In Mark's talk with the way that women's brains are wired, they don't have separate boxes their brain their brain basically women's brains are wired like one long continuous string with everything is connected inside of it and it's buzzing everyone going everywhere i'm not going to do all the sound effects you can watch this video for that i actually may put the link in for that in in below because it's worth watching it's on youtube um and what he's saying basically is that for a woman's brain everything's connected and it makes it very complicated 
And for us men, we wouldn't be able to figure it out in a heart, in, in a million years because everything's so interwoven, interconnected, and wired in because that's the way women, that's where your brains are, are wired, the way you function. For us, that's total um, chaos in a way because we like orderly systems. And I'm speaking generally speaking because not all men are like this, not all women are like this, women are like that. But in general terms, it's how we are. So for us men, we look at women and go, oh, geez, <laughs> way more complicated. Because to us, it's overwhelming. We like to have things broken down in simple terms. As I said before in different talks about how you know, we're good at single task, one at a time, really good. Women are generally better at multitasking. It's a natural gift because of the wiring of our brains. And neither one's better or worse, just different. And that's the thing I want to make sure you get. This is not a superiority, inferiority uh, teaching. This is a difference understanding. So bear with me. So, men's brains, women's brains. I believe, I believe, a lot of the problems we've had in cultural society. Yeah, I'm jumping in there now. I was thinking if I need to put something else on the table. That You've got the framework. So I believe in historical terms, one of the challenges we've had in a society, one is that we've had a challenge which has been, and this is not going to be a history lesson, but there's been a distinct bias towards the... Um, I'm going to say this most politely, a male-driven society, as you're probably aware, because history's written that way. And I think a large part of that, and, and to be honest, and over a large part of that culture of the last millennia, women have been generally made second class, put down, suppressed, repressed, put away, stuff like that, and treated like chattel in a way. Now, I'm being blunt about this, so I want to make sure you get the point. I suspect a large part of this, because I know in ancient times it was different. I had... I, I, I don't know if it's just that I know it through intuitively or through the cellular memory, whatever it is, but I know back in the ancient times, women led. There was a lot of teachings of the goddess, which comes from the, um, I think it's the Gnostic or the Judas scrolls they found in the Dead Sea Scrolls in the last few years. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff about the feminine goddess in the pieces that were taken out of the Bible. By the way, that's not conspiracy, that's fact. You can check it out for yourself. But also back in ancient times, there were women who were the Druids, and were the leaders and were fearless. They were very strong. But I strongly believe that a lot of the men back then were so scared of women because women were more complicated. As I said, more complex. They think much more stuff going on. And the other part also is women have much better memories than men because that single wire of everything. With us, again, so all that thought about history. I want you to jump back to the present for a moment. Another piece of the, of the boxes versus wiring issue. Us men, we have little boxes put everywhere. When, when boxes are closed because we don't want distractions, we don't even know they're there. We, we just focus on the one box we're in at the time. So if it's watching TV, we don't know about jobs, we don't think about the kids, we don't think about anything except TV. This is how simple we work. It's the way we work best because, again, single focus is our strength. So if we're at work, we don't think about things at home. It's not our priority. So memory recall for us men of situations and circumstances and all the details of it are generally minimal, just to be honest. And some of the men are going, don't tell them this. And some of the women are like, oh, my God. So <laughs> you'll get what you get. Now, for the women, because everything's connected with that one single wire running right through everything in your brain, everything's tied together, which means when memory comes up to recall things, if you can remember something, you remember everything about it. For example, um, if you and your partner were going to a wedding and a week later you're looking back at the wedding and... The man's trying to remember. So I remember, I remember that you know, I remember the bride and groom, but he probably may not remember the color of the bridesmaid's dresses. But I guarantee you, the woman does. She also remembers the two kids running around with putting all the petals down, which you may have vaguely remember if it was one or two, as a man. Now I know I'm outing people when I say this, but this is the thing about detail, and it's the benefit that women bring of memory, which is a gift and a curse. It's a gift to remember things that we forget, and it's a curse when we get into an argument. <laughs> Because we may not remember what happened, and you do as a woman, and we have to basically be humble because we don't know everything. And that's one of the things. So go back to, go, jumping back to history, that piece I want to bring back with me. The history, I believe because men realized that they could not control history because women knew more than they did, they had to take charge and control women because they were afraid they would lose to them. I suspect a large part of history was dictated from that, actually was um, governed by that because there's so much in... Um, so this there's so much in history that has not been written down but I have, a, I have a firm suspicion that part of it is because of the way men and women think 
there was a lack of trust between the two. And I really suspect, in fact, I firmly believe that for men and women, there is such a opportunity in modern times for us to elevate the conversation, to grow beyond what we were before, and to treat each other with respect because of our unique differences, the power that we bring from both sides of the conversation. There is great power in that single focus that masculine brings. Much of us joking around, messing around with it. And again, Mark Gungan's talks on Monk Gunga, G U N G O R, I think his last name. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to one of his Facebook, his, sorry, one of his YouTube videos so you can watch for yourself about the brain da- um, differences. The feminine has the gift of everything wired together. That can be a curse as well because it takes because it's overwhelming. And I talked yesterday about they, for women, men need to res- bring respect and honor. And I talked about that. I, I invite you to watch yesterday's broadcast. That was 368. This is 369. I did mention that at the beginning. Yes. But recognizing the fact that our differences is what makes us unique and what creates a powerful place to respect each other. So from both sides of the conversation to the middle, we can honor and respect each other's differences from a place of humility and a place of recognizing that our differences make us unique and make us deserving of respect. I think a lot of the history we have issues with is because difference was always scary for a lot of the men back then. So they didn't want to have any risk of that, so they'd suppress. And I don't know if I gave due justice to the history lesson, because this wasn't meant to be a history lesson, but it's in there. So now, in this present time, in this life that we're in now, the opportunity to respect each other because of the differences and to actually recognize it's actually a good news that we are different. Because sometimes being the same is the challenge. It actually makes it harder to live life more fully. And when we are, um, what's the word we for? Um, observing and witnessing the differences, then the more capable we are of having more success together than we do apart. That was a pitch for relationships, I realize. <laughs> okay, that's where it's going. So, to come back to the title and bring that back in one last time. For us men to recognize that you women are what's the word looking for? More complicated? And I'm going to use the word carefully. But, I, but I just, it did say in the title kind of in the ways the things that your brains and our brains work differently. Not that, but your bodies do too. There's a difference in that sense too. In a lot of ways, masculine is in a way simpler process. Versus male versus female, so not, not masculine and feminine. That's not the, the conversation entirely. So recognizing that is what's on the table. Can you men, we men, us men, respect that women have that greater capacity for memory greater ability to see more things happening at once than we do. We have the long-range vision, but the feminine has this diffuse, more short in, in, in range vision, which is very helpful and very powerful for um, safety and security, which is one of the gifts that women bring. So as much as men go, well, I'm the strong one, I'm going to make security. It's like, well, yes, and enroll, invite your female partner to bring her wisdom, her insight and awareness in it too, because her ability to create safety energetically and to see more what's happening makes life much easier. I'm, 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 excuse me a second, I'm, I'm rewinding to make sure I cover what I was going to cover. This is the other challenge in these talks, they are very spontaneous. Once it's out, I don't remember what happened, came bef- what came before, so this is everything. I think that's everything. Oh, if you have any questions, comments, if you want to put them in below, if I catch them whilst I'm alive, I'll respond. And if then after I hit stop on the, or finish on the completion, you can I'll answer them, answer them afterwards in the repl- in the um, comments afterwards. Was there something else? And there's one other point to make on this. I don't know what it is. I think it may be it. So this week seems to be so far Monday and Tuesday talks that are specific about relationships regarding the difference between male and female. And well, yes, there's masculine and feminine. Those are male and female. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day. Um, this is number 369 in an ongoing series of daily talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. All of these broadcasts live on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, as well as on my YouTube channel, because I put them up there afterwards, which is uh, the, pl- the me- channel is Barry Selby, the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, so you can scroll through them all there. It might be easier there than on Facebook, depending on where you're looking, 
but the comments will not appear on YouTube because they're on Facebook and they don't transfer. Um, that's why I always have to remember to repeat the comments so the people on YouTube watching know what I, to, who I was responding to. That makes sense. If you are looking for support in this area of love and relationships, this is my speciality, as you may have guessed. And I do offer a daily um, invitation, which is to sit down and talk with me. So you can go to my website, which is barrysubway.com, click on Let's Chat, and we'll sit down and have a conversation. Simple as that. It's a 30-minute gift from me to you that we get clarity of where you want to go and what's going on and how you can get better results. If you're single or in a relationship, if you're going to change and transform that, I can help you. Um, this topic is opening up some doors for me as well. I've got some other things to talk about tomorrow. I'm not sure what they're going to be yet. If you have questions about this comment, uh, question, if you have questions about this broadcast, please put them below, and I appreciate that. And um, also, if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. I think some people might get a bit surprised by what's being said. Thanks for joining me. And if you just join me now, I thought it was a replay. I'm signing off. Um, thanks for being here. I'll see you again tomorrow. So take care. Bye.